Hi guys, here's my skill fight against Zao Sara and it's a 5 to 1 ratio fight. So he's level 76,000 and I had my gear so that my total stats were one fifth of his level. So in fact the only gems I had were two attack gems to bring up my stats and I had no potions and I'll show you my stats and you can see that it's actually one fifth of 76,600 and I'll explain a bit more as the fight goes on about what a ratio fight is and how it works but basically I'm the opposite of OP for a change <laughs> and I often get told that I'm OP and I like playing OP with my high level character and all my maximum gems like that was the point of making them. However, every now and again for a challenge and a bit of fun, I do a five to one skill fight against the boss. And I hadn't done Zalsara. I've got a playlist of my other skill fights with the other bosses, so you can check that out if you'd like to see more skill fights. But actually I went even more hardcore than you need to be. <laughs> because you can have one hexagon gem either a perfect parry stun gem or a titan break gem but I didn't have any hexagon gem as I say I only had those two attack gems and I had low level equipment so that I came in at the right stat number so basically a 5 to 1 fight it was invented on the epic games forum for Infinity Blade and there's a number of clubs that if you can do these fights you get into the clubs. There's more restrictions than that but that's it in a nutshell. And also on my own forum, Tam Channel Forum, we've got a skill thread where you can do skill fights and get posted in that thread as achieving them. So it's the same with both forums um, it's basically the fight will get you recognized in the forums so if you want to check those forums out and those skill clubs I've put a link to both forums in the description under this video so the way it works is you divide the Titans level by five and as I say that's how many total stats you can have so you check out your stats window and it will tell you the stats of your gear and the stats of your gems and that's the total figure. However, with health, it's actually 1 50th of the health number is the stats. So if you had say 50,000 health stats in total shown on the character screen, then you divide that by 50 and you actually have 1000 health stats. So the other numbers for attack and magic and shield are as is on that character screen. So you would add the 1000 to the other three figures. And then that total figure has to be one fifth or lower than the Titan's level. So my Zalsara was 76,600 and when you divide that by 5 I was able to have a maximum of 15,320 stats and my total equipment came in just under that, a couple of hundred under that and so that was fine. Anyway, this fight was a bit hard I've got to say. <laughs> Uh, it did take me a few attempts, quite a few actually, because I also had technical troubles as well as finger troubles. <laughs> but I got there in the end and I sorted out the technical problem. It kept freezing while I was recording, <laughs> so I had to keep restarting it and restarting the fight. So that was a bit annoying, but uh, it turned out I had to upgrade my software, so you know, that was, got sorted now. But also, uh, Isa froze a few times, I'd swipe and she didn't do anything, so again I had to restart. <laughs> but also my own skill, you know, I had to practice with him a lot. And if I'd put in a Titan Break gem, it would have been a quicker, easier fight. 
I would have got a longer attack break, but I didn't. So this, as I say, is a hardcore skill fight. So I got to know him really well, <laughs> and I worked out, you know, the best way with his step backs. And the reason I dodge his step backs, one is because that's the most skillful way of cracking step backs, but also you get a dodge break and with dodge breaks you get a longer attack break. So particularly if you have Titan break gems in, which I didn't. <laughs> However, you still get a longer attack break if you dodge. So I was doing that for all the attack breaks. When it came to his last hit, I would dodge it and get a dodge break. Every now and again, I had a parry break, but you know, 99% of the time, I got a dodge break. And it depends on how many exclamation marks as to how long your attack break will be. So if you only get one exclamation mark, you can only get about three swipes in, so I just did single direction swipes. If there's two exclamation marks, you can get a couple of combos and an ultra combo. So that would be two normal swipes, left and right, and then two combos and an ultra combo. And with three exclamation marks, I found I could get three combos in and then an ultra combo. And with four exclamation marks, I could get up to six combos and an ultra combo and a quick swipe afterwards. And to add to your attack, you can also go for perfect parries. And that will give you an extra hit, so an extra combo. So the more perfect parries you get, you can add more combos. So I was watching out for perfect parries and adding them to my attack break as to combos. And with his step backs, I found a few things. Um, he has got that a slower two move step back, uh, which is two center hits. And I have a video on his step backs and I show how you can recognize them, which one's coming. But what happens is he does that two move one quite slowly. So you need to wait a second before you dodge left or right and then do a second left or right dodge. And when he does the similar step back, which is really long though, it's five moves, he does that one a lot faster. So as soon as you see that one's coming, you want to dodge left and right really fast. And the way you recognize it, the two move one his sword is down at the beginning and the five move one his sword is up so as soon as you see which direction his sword is pointing you either dodge slow or you dodge fast and for the last one where he spins round in the middle unlike in my video I found you can just do three center dodges and you'll crack that odd looking step back where he swipes and then he spins round backwards and then does another swipe. But yeah, three center dodges works for that. And that's different to what I put in the video, but I found that quicker. And I didn't have any trouble with that step back once it was sorted. So he does have a few other awkward moves and that's where he does those feints, which is like fake moves where he goes to swipe one way and ends up swiping another way. So usually that's not too hard. However, he does a lot of them in the second scene. And because of the angle, it's quite hard to see where his arm is when he comes at you from the right. And also it's very dark and he's wearing black. <laughs> so one piece of advice I'd say is put your screen brightness right up which is what I did the first time I attempted it was quite low and I could hardly see him so even though with your screen brightness up it's still hard in the second scene because of those feints but I noticed that he often does one straight after a shield bash that's a new move 
that he introduces from the second scene and the third scene. He swipes diagonally with his shield, which you can centre dodge for. But as I say, in that second scene and the third scene, when he does that diagonal shield bash, he'll often do a faint move from the right. So just wait a second before you parry back because you can end up scratching him instead of parrying as he's still moving. Anyway, those are my tips on Sao Sara after an in-depth study of this Titan. And he is the high priest with the Al Sar cult. And that's because they were resurrecting Al Sar, which is what they do and then later you meet Al Sar at Dark Citadel. But at this Plains of Koroth you find Al Sar lying there waiting to be resurrected as that's where he was defeated by the God King. But anyway, there it was. He was down and I won. <laughs> Yay me! Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.